Welcome to Rate Your Course. We are the most accurate and current golf course reviewing site in the United Kingdom. Thanks for joining me, Andrew Burrell, for this video review. Today's review is for the Dorset Golf and Country Club Lakeland course. The course itself caters for all levels of golfers. It has four tee positions from red through to blue. The blue plays 7,000 yards and has a triple S rating of 74. Another good feature of the facility is that it has a full putting green as well as a practice facility and range. The welcome that you'll receive at the Dorset Golf and Country Club is a very warm welcome and the local pro is more than willing to assist you with any requirements for equipment. With a great view of the Purbeck Hills, the first hole plays 388 yards from the white tees and has a stroke index of 8. Even for the stronger hitters, the hole plays longer than its 388 yards, and a tight approach to a narrow green presents a real challenge for the second shot. I was joined by local golf professional Lee James for this golf course review. Lee and I started our round on the par 5 11th hole, which is 478 yards from the white markers and has a stroke index of 9. The 11th hole is a challenging par 5 and is protected by bunkers on the left hand side that will catch any drive that is hit to the left missing the fairway. On the right hand side are a group of trees that will catch any drives that are sliced. Lee drove his ball to the right hand side and had about 200 yards left to the green. He hit a great shot to the back of the green and was left with about a 40 foot putt. One of the features of the Dorset Golf and Country Club are the greens that although undulated run straight and true. Chipping with greens is good is a real pleasure and I felt confident that I could go for the hole. Lee made his birdie putt and we moved on to the signature hole which is the 12th, a long par forward 427 yards off the white tees and stroke index 3. The approach to the 12th is pretty tricky as it requires a long iron to be hit across the water hazard. The green is protected by two bunkers on the left and has a sharp slope on the right. Once over the water hazard, the fairway leads up to a large slope green and any chips left short will be difficult. When putting, it is important to get your speed correct as the greens have subtle breaks. The 13th is stroke one and accuracy is crucial. A good hit will leave 180 yards to a well bunkered green. The green itself is sloped from front to back and is one of the fastest greens on the course. The 14th is a 388 yard dog leg left. For those that are brave, there is a tiger line available. The green is protected by a deep bunker that catches any shots played short. As the green is pretty long, the challenge is selecting the correct iron to approach the green. The 
15th is a challenging par 3 and at over 200 yards is the longest on the course. A long iron or fairway wood is required to get the ball close. For those of you who have hit the green, it's a scenic walk down to the hole. The 15th green has many hidden slopes which makes putt reading difficult. Par 5 16th requires a long drive through an over hazard and a set of trees. Running alongside the fairway is a ditch that will catch any wayward drives or second shots. The layup is a tricky shot as you want to get as close to the green as possible without going into the hazard. The 16th green is really big and although I was on the green I had a monster putt of over 60 feet. At this distance, getting it close is the main objective. On the 17th green, looking back to the tee, the hole looks longer than its 184 yards. The large green is protected by bunkers, front, left and right, and any shots long are in the deep rough. Chipping from the fringe will find the ball running true and straight towards the hole. The 18th hole plays back towards the clubhouse and is a tight par 5 playing 366 yards with a stroke index of 13. So hitting an iron off the tee is a safer option. The approach is normally with a short iron to a green protected by bunkers left and right. I was lucky enough to finish off the day with a solid 10 footer.